So this game has 2,000 aesthetics as well as 2,000 loading. Oh my god, what are we playing, Levi? It, it's something that is filled with story. Look at all the story flying in front of us. I'm not sure it's good story. Let's see what's going on happens in the first cutscene in the game. Oh my god. So what are we fucking playing, Levi? What the fuck is this? The bouncer. The bouncer. The bouncer. <laughs> the bouncer. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. That's fine. I know. Well, no, I know a little bit. This is not like Banjo Kazooie where I actually have seen it played. I know. I've seen this game played maybe for like ten minutes. I have heard of it in Myth and Legend. Uh, yeah, basically, I know that it's stupid. So, from what I could tell from the game is that it's a short game that you play through several times. Are we doing so, that? No. Yeah. Fuck so that. it has New Game Plus. Does it just let you start from the New Game Plus? No. I mean, it looked well, like it. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't let you have anything to start with. Uh oh, so it's just fucking with you. It's just carrying over stats. <laughs> what the fuck is DRF? Derf Broadcasting <laughs> Derf Community. Derf. <laughs> Derf. <laughs> That's from Mimi Woods. <laughs> so this, this start is like the most boring thing I have ever seen. Like they could cut. We prepared some diagrams. <laughs> they they could cut this scene in half, and it would still be too long. <laughs> <laughs> First an Earth-based station transmits a signal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Microwaves! Microwaves! Oh yeah, this is a story about a bouncer in a bar. <laughs> it's the fucking Death Star! Look at that, that's the... Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be me laughing at it. How will people be affected by the largest amounts of microwave radiation raining down on Earth? You're gonna cook them! Oh my god. Uh, no, oh god, look at that face. Oh god! Oh, age 15! God damn it! <laughs> Oh. This is pretty Final Fantasy X, so uh, considering that the cutscenes don't look too bad, Damn the people it. are a bit plasticky. <sighs> she moves fluid. I'll give her that. We're a bouncer in a bar. By the way. Yep, that's why it's called Da Bouncer. <laughs> We've arrived at the target coordinates. <laughs> What? <laughs> look, look at how. Okay, wait until how stupid this looks once they land. They already look. Look pretty, at them. They already look pretty. They stupid. land head first. Oh my God! Wait, are these people? Those are peoples. What? I don't know why it cuts to black like this every time. It, it, it's really it cuts to flow a lot. Like they could just have it over the CGI cutscene. Oh God! Oh God! What? Is, what's that character design? It's an Nomura design. Oh my god. I wouldn't call this peak Nomura, but it's pretty close. Oh, Jesus Christ. So they just destroyed this child's bedroom because it needed a place to land. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming that we are... I mean, look at the way these buildings are. I think that we might be in Attack on Titan right now. Uh, that would probably be... Oh, God. Those guys look like they're from the Matrix. Uh, all the bad parts of the Matrix. They look like they're from the Matrix 3. Oh, my God. Okay, with that lightning, I looked away and looked back, and they look like the Ninja Turtles with that lightning. That would be fine. Like, what if the Ninja Turtles were just like... Oh, God. What yeah, th this is actually just Injustice 2. <laughs> what if the Ninja Look at that guy strutting... Interrupted my strut. Oh my god. What if uh, the Ninja Turtles were in this and they were all just in this fucking gimp gear? <laughs> okay, this guy actually looks like a bouncer. It's kind of stupid that he has the little devil horns. 
<laughs> He's got a tiny little head. Like, it don't also, fit his huge body. It'll take a second before we can see it, but I really genuinely like the patch on his jacket. Oh my god. I hope that you get that patch. You're scaring away the customers. Sorry. Just doing my job. As a bouncer. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Oh, okay, that's look banging. That. That's great. The cactar walks up. Sure the cactar walks, like, ambles up to get in. He's like, stop! And he shows him his arm. <laughs> what? Hey. He's like, point at it. What did I say? I don't gotta see. He doesn't gotta say nothing. That, that wasn't anything. He don't gotta say nothing. He just points. Oh, my God. Well, we're in for it. We're in this bar that has a car in it for some reason. Uh, well, plenty of bars have cars in them. Have you ever been to one of them car bars? I've never been into a drive through bar, no. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Is that Patrick look, Stewart? Look at how boring this character looks compared to all the other ones. <laughs> he looks like somebody's dad that went as a, a bartender for Halloween. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at this cool guy. Uh, look at his stupid eyebrow tattoos. This guy's name is Sion? Well, Sion. Oh my god. And yeah, he's, he's basically just got recycled into Sora. I noticed. Yeah, because when you think of bouncers, you think of them wearing cherry red and lemon yellow. Why? <laughs> Sion. <laughs> Look at that yeah, stupid yeah. necklace. It's so big. <laughs> Dude, okay, it's hanging from that chain on his choker. He's wearing a dog collar. First of all, again, these people all have tiny heads. But anyway, uh, when we first saw it, like, for th God, that split okay. second there. The split second. Look, it looks like he's got a zipper on his chest. Or that his spine is in the very wrong location. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my okay. god, what? We're in? So, yeah, now the game just starts <laughs> right away. Wait, the guy's name is Volk Kruger. Kruger. Don't go on, don't go on. Volk okay. Kruger. Okay, I need to talk about this. So... <laughs> as far as I can tell, you can freely select each of these characters during the different missions, and you get experience points, or as you can see above their stats, bouncer points. Bouncer <laughs> points! <laughs> For bouncing people out of the bar. A bunch of people broke into the bar, they're causing trouble, you're a bouncer, it's your job to get them out. Okay, it makes sense so far. No! <laughs> That's the only okay, part okay, that the, makes sense! Yes, yeah, the details are stupid, but... <laughs> Well, you got to play as Volt Kruger, dude. Forget the I, rest I, of these assholes. I would, but uh, the problem is that it you only level up one character at a time, and the enemies gradually get harder the more experience you have. So if you swap between characters, it becomes way harder because of that. So I'm going to stick with Scion. Oh, come on. Start with Volt Kruger. Okay, fine. Volt Kruger. For, for, for you. Special forces. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Get him. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> it moves so slow. Do they all move that slow? Yes. Well, that's oh fine. my god. He, I love how he does a little flip kick. And a flip kick. And then he lands, like, badly. And he's got a. Like, he's out. Oh, hey, let me get up. <laughs> okay, so. This is one of the few games that. I've seen on the PS2 that actually use the sensitivity on the buttons because oh, yeah? you like I'm tapping triangle light there for the punches and I and I hold triangle there for the headbutt. That's weird. So all your combos are based around uh, tapping light or heavy attacks and combining different buttons. That's confusing. Sounds like it's I would suck at it. it it's. Okay. Oh, right in the dick! I mean, oh my god. <laughs> These other guys, like your other dudes, your Scion and your Co, they're just like flopping around. Okay, can you smash them into the car? I don't think so. Well, this isn't Injustice 2 then. Injustice 2, you pick up a car and bust it over the head. Oh! <laughs> right over him! <laughs> These fucking ninjas, dude. Okay, Matrix and. Matrix ninjas. I've 
it is very difficult to uh, switch targets because you just kind of lock onto someone and you would expect to be able to like use the right analog stick to switch targets but you can't oh you get to spend your bouncer points yeah i'm going to improve my bouncer skills go power up and that's all we'll stick with for now oh my god <laughs> i'm so into this oh man Oh, oh boy. We're seven minutes into this game, and I'm already fucking... No escape. No escape. Me. They weren't after me. So all the little uh, mini cutscenes in before and after stages changes depending on which character you have, as far as I can tell. Well, we gotta do three playthroughs. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Weren't we on the top floor? Wait, we were on the bottom floor. We were on the bottom floor. Yeah, well, apparently not. Sora, look out. Oh, right in the grill. Those guys, look, they're wearing, like, thong body armor. Oh, Sion, sorry. Oh, and he's wearing, like, like, fucking biker short, like, biking shorts under his fucking... The Bouncer. The Bouncer. Oh, Jesus. Trademarked. <laughs> yeah, that's the trademark and I you want. notice how terrible the logo is designed? They have a paragraph of text shoved in there, but it's impossible to read because of how blurry it is. If you want to read that off of the box. Sion, a man haunted by a tragic past. Within him lies strength and kindness, but also great sorrow. All this will change when he meets a girl named Dominique. These are the residents of Dog Street, the Bouncer. That's your fucking full title. You know that every time we refer to this name, we game, we have to say the whole thing, right? Memorize it, <laughs> no, Levi. You can, you can just say it how they said at the very beginning, the Bouncer. The bouncer. Check on something for me. Yeah, oh, so, Mr. Man. Tattoo is calling in his connections to figure out uh, where those people went. You know, his bouncer connections. Mm hmm God. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh, my God. And everything is full of, like, tribal tattoos and, like... What the fuck is... That's not a fucking cell phone. That's... That's like a military-grade walkie-talkie. It, it's a cell phone of Final Fantasy Land. Thanks. Oh my god. I'm glad we only get to hear one side of that. Oh god! Yeah, and like I said, it's eyebrow tattoos. Yeah, that's what I fucking saw. Oh, you know that I like Sion's cute little band-aid. I was gonna say, you know that he's a scrappy boy because he's got the little band-aid under his eye. Fucking. Stupid. Oh, and god. Volt Kruger's fucking half jacket. Uh, the vault. <laughs> Look at him go! So they have Look at him go! so they have so much so they have so much story that they have to shove it into loading screens. Now, now, now they're fast. Look at how fast they're going. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what any of those expressions were. <laughs> also, who closed those gates? The ninjas, dude. Okay, so. so we have to stick with Volt now. We have to? Well, he's the only one I'm leveling up right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Get him. Just fucking ragdoll him. Yeah. It's clunky battle. So, system. yeah, you see how I'm just kind of switching between them by just by getting near him? Yeah. Mm, right in the fucking grill. Oh, look out! Sion's getting his ass kicked. You better go save him. He's flanked. <laughs> he did that stupid spin kick and didn't hit anything. No. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> this game is so, so good. Th there, there's a guard, but it's kind of hard to predict when the <laughs> enemies are going to attack. <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, maybe if I play the Sion. 
<laughs> Volt doesn't really seem the juggling type. What are special forces doing here? <laughs> Those fucking demon horns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are around Volt's legs? That white thing. Uh, what? Recognize you recognize that no. panther? Yeah, you know. Let's get that. Going. What the train. fuck? Yeah. Those white things? Oh, those are his socks. He just doesn't know how they work. <laughs> well, it's getting kind of cold out, but I wear an extra pair of socks over my pants. Over my pants. Yeah, yeah those will go great with my half jacket. No, really show off my midriff. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't plan to laugh so, the so whole now we're time. To, so now we're going to beat up random cops. <laughs> Security is super tight. Those three dudes. Oh man! Damn. So we're doing our jobs as bouncers to go out and beat up random cops. <laughs> yeah, you're doing your job as bouncers. <laughs> Going somewhere else to beat people up. Oh. <laughs> I can see the way that people just flop. <laughs> like that. Yeah, it, this is a very early ragdoll physics. I know, and Seon's got it so good. He gets kicked in the fucking chin and just fucking gives up. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Oh. That was the whole thing. That was the whole thing. That was the whole stage. That was the whole fucking thing. Okay. Okay, we're going to increase our life now. Good. Oh, good, because I want this to go as long as possible. I want this to never end. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a hurry. Oh. <laughs> My God, you saw how cool they are. They skipped that turnstile. Those cops like, those guys skipped the turnstile. Give they us, don't have tickets. Give us our 75 cents. <laughs> Look at him. It's not a porta potty being put in there. <laughs> Did you see them lightly jogging? These guys have places to be. Those other guys are like, hang on. I didn't expect such a warm reception. Oh. Shouldn't the train be departing? Man. <laughs> time it so that we jump on the train just at the start. <sighs> when you hear the whistle, start booking for the train. Okay. Don't miss um. it. Who do you think you're talking to? Wow. Um. Man. You're gonna need more than that to stop me. I also. I couldn't help but notice that, like, if you see Volt's sleeves on his jacket, like the buttons, they're not buttoned. So he's got like buttoned up sleeves, so you can like roll it up or something. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, he's got a, when he's doing his bouncing job. Right. First of all, he's got all those studs on his cuffs. So, like, why would you want to roll it up? You gotta show those off. But second, if you look, you can see his arms. It, there's a whole level. God. A whole level. A whole fucking level. If you look, you can see his arms, and he's got sleeves of some other shirt under his jacket. He's not wearing a shirt. So, are those yep. sleeves inside the jacket, under the regular sleeves, like, part of the jacket? And if so, why can you roll up the sleeves of the jacket? Look! Look at that! Or, it's just stupid and I, I don't care. That might be it. Mm, the moral character design is very mysterious. Yeah, we yeah we covered that. You know, uh, actually, <clears throat> on that topic, I gotta get this out before something else happens because I won't be able to. <laughs> there <laughs> They're just throwing the back of it. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Okay. Uh, I remember a few years ago, there was a... Uh, years ago, there was a, an April Fool's joke in one of like issues of Game Informer or something. So, mm -hmm. And it was that like they were going to do a, a, a Kingdom this Hearts game on Nintendo with Nintendo talk. properties alongside your Disney properties. On this train? Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was called Mushroom Kingdom Hearts, which is an amazing title, first of all. But they had a fake... Like, promotional image of Sora and Mickey and Mario. And Mario had a Keyblade, right? But the reason that I was able to tell it was fake, because I was stupid, the reason I was not sure that it was fake is I was like, there are not enough zippers on that Mario outfit. <laughs>